Hey, it's Brad here, and I wanted to offer another lesson on memoir writing today. And today the lesson is going to be about suspense, a very important aspect of writing a memoir. Uh, but first I want to tell you a little more about me. My name is Brad Wetzler, and I'm the author of Into the Soul of the World, which was published this year by Hachette Go. And um, it's the story of my 10-year journey of healing from uh, depression related to PTSD and also addiction. And it also chronicles my long career as an adventure travel writer um, for many of the major uh, top travel magazines and general interest magazines, including the New York Times and Newsweek and Outside and National Geographic, among others. So, uh, but let's dive back in to the issue of suspense. Um, so suspense, I think of it as the ability to keep the reader turning the page, to get to the end of each story, to get to the end of your book so that they get the wisdom and they get the full experience that you've created for them in your memoir. Um, so how do you do that? How do you create a suspenseful book? Well, one way is, you know, first of all, to think of your book as a bit of a mystery. You know, you don't want to spill the beans um, too early in, in, a, in a particular story or scene, but also in, in the book. Yes, you want to use foreshadowing and use hinting at, at something that might occur in the future, but you don't want to spill the beans and, and let the air out of your stories. I'll give you an example. Let's say I was writing about climbing a mountain. And um, in fact, I have a client right now who's, who's writing about that. And, and they have been struggling with suspense. And what they've been doing is beginning each story in their book or each scene or, or particular anecdote with a blanket statement that just kills the suspense. Something like, um, my climb of the mountain was, was fun, refreshing, and also difficult. Um, and then they start telling the story from the beginning. And you see that spills the beans and indicates to your reader that you've already succeeded and it also gives your judgment of, of the climb. And it just lets the total air out of that particular story. What you want to do maybe is lead with a, with a kind of a, a less explicit opening sentence. You know, my climb of the mountain would change my life forever. That sets up the climb and also raises the stakes that we know it's a very important story in this book. And then you can begin the story from the beginning. And then you write that story with a strong beginning and rising action and middle and an end. And then you can end with that kind of a statement that my client had, had used, which was sort of it was fun, refreshing, and, and difficult. By then, you know, the reader has has learned everything about the climb and experienced it with you. That's the more important thing. They've experienced the climb with you. They didn't know what happened or that you even made it, but they did know it was an important moment in your life. So I'll pause there. That's my lesson on suspense, and I hope you'll join me on this journey of memoir writing, and I'll, I'll be posting more videos very soon.